So as we reported earlier today, search teams uncovered the remains of a child in a wooded area in, uh, in Alabama. And while indications are that this may be Taylor Williams, the exact identification of the victim uh, will be made pending some detailed forensic analysis. Brianna Williams, the mother of Taylor Williams, has been arrested this evening on charges of child neglect and giving false information to investigators during the search for Taylor. The suspect has been absentee booked at a local hospital after being admitted today due to an apparent overdose of some sort. We will continue to investigate every lead, every aspect of this case. Uh, I think it's important to remember that we are uh, nowhere near done in this investigation. You just heard it there from Sheriff Mike Williams. Nowhere near mm. done in this investigation. Good morning. I'm Keith Nelson. And I'm Lou Turner. So many huge developments yesterday. The alerts kept coming from the app. I'm telling you, it, it, just so many layers to this in the case of missing five-year-old Taylor Williams. JSO says human remains found in Alabama could be those of little Taylor. And back here in Jacksonville, Taylor's mother is in a medically induced mm -hmm. coma this morning after an overdose. She's also facing charges connected to her daughter's disappearance. So we do have live TV coverage for you this morning. We start with our case. Haley Tracy, she's in Demopolis, Alabama, where those remains were discovered. Yeah, Lou, I'm standing right in front of that dirt road. It's pretty dark, obviously, here behind me. You can't see, but I do want to update you on what we're seeing out here this morning. The crime scene tape that we saw out here yesterday is down right now. There is still one JSO vehicle out here monitoring this scene, a secure scene here still this morning. And the command post set up by the local police department is still out here this morning, keeping an eye on things out here. Now, we're in the middle of Demopolis and the town of Linden, Alabama. Linden significant because it is the town Brianna Williams, again, Taylor's mother is from, and we're told some of her extended family still live. That is about 20 minutes from Demopolis. And now where we are now is off of road, County Road 44 and Highway 28, a very, very, very rural area, wooded area, not much cell service out here to kind of give you an idea about things. Now, yesterday, I believe we have some video. We saw several law enforcement agents and investigators out here strapping on boots, walking up this mudded hill here, just kind of gathering evidence, securing this scene out here. SBI, FBI, JSO, the local police department, all the law enforcement agencies. And as of around 6 p.m. yesterday, most of them had left this scene here. And now I do want to tell you that we talked with one of the extended family members of Brianna Williams last night and just check and see how they're doing. And she told me they're all praying for answers and understanding with everything that is going on. We also spoke with community members here in this very small town of Demopolis, Linden even smaller, Demopolis, about 7,000 people, everyone here talking about it. We did talk to somebody who knows Brianna, says she grew up in the same area, wasn't that close to her, but said she never expected anything like this to happen. A lot of people never in this town said that they never expected anything like this to happen in their town. And I do want to tell you one other thing. Speaking of the town here, the newspaper here that we told you about just a few days ago in 2010 that they had an article saying that Brianna was homecoming queen, Val Victorian. Well, obviously, as you can imagine, that story a little different. The front page of the newspaper online, at least now updated about these human remains out here and about Brianna Williams and the latest about her. I'm going to toss it back to you guys. Thanks for that, Kaylee. Now from Demopolis, Alabama, we go to UF Health here in Jacksonville. Alana Harris, she has more on Taylor's mother and the charges filed against her. Good morning. Taylor's mother, Brianna Williams, is now here at UF Health in a medically induced coma after investigators say it appears she may have tried to take her own life yesterday. Investigators say they were on their way to arrest Brianna when they found her overdosed on some sort of pill. Now, she was rushed here to FU of Health from NAS Jax, where she works and where she's been staying since she since she first reported Taylor missing and fellow staff members there at NAS Jax tell us there's been a lot of tension on base all week as everyone has been trying to figure out what happened to five year old Taylor Williams. Now, even though Brianna is in serious condition, she is still under arrest for the felonies of child neglect and giving false information to investigators during the search. Her bond was set at $1 million. Now we spoke with a man who was visiting his own family here at UF Health and he told us that there is a big JSO presence inside that security has been ramped up and certain hallways have been blocked off. Family members of Brianna are now telling us 
had Brianna had been hard to get in touch with in the months leading up to when she reported Taylor missing and no one could have imagined that day would lead us here with what could be Taylor's remains found in the woods in a different state and her mother hospitalized after overdosing. Now this investigation is far from over. Investigators say they have a staggering amount of evidence to pour through and coming up in the next half hour we'll talk about what Sheriff Mike Williams had to say about any other persons of interest they may be looking into. Here outside of UF Health, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side. We'll have team coverage of Little Taylor Williams all day long. As soon as we learn more information, we'll bring you those updates instantly. Don't forget to download that First Coast News app to get those updates right in the palm of your hands.